I know if other people have been doing this or not, I, I'll tell you a little bit about where I came from. Um, so uh, I grew up in Tennessee, over on the west side of the state, in Memphis. Uh, I went to school in St. Louis, at Washington U in St. Louis. Uh, I, I'm a computer science guy by training, so all of my degrees, masters, uh, bachelors, and PhD were in computer science. Um, after I finished uh, my master's degree at Wash U, I went and worked in industry for a while. So I worked at Southwestern Bell Research Labs. And for those of you that have a little bit of gray in your hair like I do, uh, you'll remember when the AT&T was split up into parts, right? So I was in one of those parts. Um, I did some really cool stuff while I was there. We did a lot of stuff on voice user interfaces. This was back in the mid-90s before Siri and Alexa and all those things were around. So we uh, did some kind of innovative pioneering stuff back then. Um, I then went back to school and did my PhD at Virginia Tech up in Blacksburg in Virginia. Uh, also in computer science, but there I focused on human-computer interaction. And so a lot of my interests, uh, research interests and teaching interests, really focus around helping people to interact with information systems. Um, so uh, since I've been here, uh, classes that I teach here uh, in the fall, I usually teach one of our database classes, which I really love teaching because I can see a lot of students there. Um, I also uh, teach this semester a usability evaluation course. So that course is all focused on how do we evaluate interfaces to understand are they usable? Can people understand how to work with them? How do we understand if one interface is somehow better than another in some measurable way? Um, in the spring semesters, I usually teach sort of an intermediate level programming course that looks at how to use Python and other toolkits to do data analysis kinds of stuff. So if you're into uh, that, come talk to me. Um, and then I've also traditionally taught a class on web databases, which is basically, I always describe this as if you want to build the next Twitter or the next um, Instagram, uh, this class all, has all the kinds of things that you need to know about for how to do that, okay? Um, I've been, I don't see Ron Burquist here, but I've been thinking about bringing back a class that we used to teach on uh, human computer interaction seminar. So that's one that if you're a student, you might look out for in the near future. On the research side, um, a lot of my time recently has been spent looking at how uh, search systems can help people when they're grappling with complex information tasks. So Google's really good when you want to go look up quick stuff. Um, but Google and other search engines don't necessarily give a lot of support when you have an ongoing complex information need or uh, what we would call an exploratory search task, one that you're going to continue over time. You know, maybe you've just been diagnosed with some new condition or you're trying to learn about something. It's not something you're just going to go in and find that information and get back out. You're going to be looking at that information over a long period of time. And so uh, a couple threads that I've been looking at in that space um, are all focused around how we can provide tools in the search interface that might help somebody when they're grappling with a complex information need. Um, one example of that would be that we could show them things that other people have done. Right? Now this would be not in a creepy way, but in a maybe opt-in sort of way. So if I searched on this topic today and I found something interesting, maybe I'd be willing to share that with people that were searching on that topic in the future. And that might help them. But we don't know. How would that work? So we've been doing studies to look at that. If you saw the search trails that I followed on this topic, you know, What's that cognitive cost involved in understanding what I did? Does that cost outweigh the benefits that you might gain from seeing what I did? And so we've been finding some interesting things there. We've been finding that people do use those trails in ways that are kind of interesting. Um, they use it to verify things that they've already found. They use it to get new ideas about different directions to go in. They use it to look at completeness of what they've found. And so that's some of the work that I'm kind of excited about. And if you're interested, um, you can come talk to us down in the Interactive Information Systems Lab on the garden floor. Uh, I'm Eric Wayo and I do a lot of work in that space, and so um, if you're a student and want to talk more about that, come see me.